guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another video on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So today, some interesting things happened when I woke up this morning. The gameplay trailer for Assassin's Creed Valhalla had been revealed at the Xbox event overnight. And I watched it and I thought, okay, yep, a normal um, first look at the in-engine gameplay of an Assassin's Creed game. Pretty much what we're used to. I then went on Twitter and saw that most people didn't feel the same way. And that is that they didn't feel it was a gameplay trailer or what they expected. And there's a whole lot of dislikes to like ratio going on on that trailer. And lots of people were upset and felt like they didn't get what they were hoping for. Now, I was a bit more aware than maybe most people of what was coming, right? I knew it was going to be a short trailer. Now, Xbox had advertised, and Ubisoft had advertised that you were going to get the first look at gameplay at this Xbox event. Now, it does make it sound like there's maybe a bit more because, of course, every Assassin's Creed game, we not only get many gameplay trailers, a cinematic trailer and some gameplay demos and, like, someone doing commentary throughout playing the game, that happens a lot. And that will happen with Valhalla throughout this year before the game's released. But people felt like that's what they were going to get here. Now, the thing is, when you look at any sort of gameplay trailer in an Assassin's Creed game in the past, or really any game, you're gonna get this. Now, maybe you'll get longer ones, maybe you'll get more in-depth ones, and you get some narration to story. However, this was 90 seconds. Now, this mostly just had cinematic shots of an in-game engine, but what you saw was the first reveal of gameplay, a teaser. Now, Ashraf Ishmael, the game director, or I should say creative director now, on this Assassin's Creed title, came out and was saying this is just going to be a gameplay teaser, a first look. Whereas Xbox and Ubisoft probably weren't giving those same vibes across as to what you were going to see, and that's where this negative reactions come from, I believe, because it doesn't make sense to me that we're getting upset, or anyone's getting upset, really, about this being called a gameplay trailer when no one ever has before. Now what this actually tells me first of all is people are really excited about this game which is great. I'm certainly excited mostly for the team that's working on this game more than it being Assassin's Creed but I love the vibe of the community right now. I've been really enjoying everyone getting excited about it and the team working on it getting excited about it and really being involved in the community and listening to feedback. Whereas in the past, namely Odyssey, Quebec team just wasn't able to handle any criticism whatsoever and the community felt awful to be around, toxic and negative. Now in this case I've been really enjoying it and even with all this negativity that's come through from this trailer reveal today, in the end Ashraf Ishmael, the creative director, has come out and apologized for leading people maybe astray in the wrong direction with their expectations. He acknowledged that people were expecting more and he didn't mean to mislead people in that way. He also said there's a lot of marketing that's going to be coming in the future before this game's released and that people will definitely see more before the game comes out. Of course. Now, I personally have no problem with this trailer. And I have no problem with people being upset about a trailer. If what you're upset about is the fact that the trailer's bad. For example, you watch a gameplay trailer, you watch a cinematic trailer, you watch any trailer, and you're like, that was a bad trailer, I just didn't like it, nothing happened, that's fine. I got no problem with you doing that, absolutely no problem. If you didn't like this trailer, and you're like, it's shit, easy. I didn't like the cinematic trailer last week. I don't think it really showed anything I was looking to see in terms of story, or even the setting. Now, what I saw in this gameplay trailer was in-engine gameplay footage. Because no, it's not all cutscenes like people are trying to make out in these comments here. You saw gameplay. You saw what it would look like when Eivor was running. You saw what combat looked like with Eivor. You saw character models walking around the map. You saw a siege going on. You saw NPCs interacting in different environments. You saw a lot of the environment and how the textures are going to look in-game with lighting and cinematics and animations. That's what you're going to get from a gameplay trailer. Yes, lots of them may be longer. You might get a 3-4 minute one from another game, including Assassin's Creed games in the past. You might get a bit more story in them. But this was a gameplay teaser trailer. That's what it was. And if you wanted more, I understand that. But that's no reason 
to get upset. All that tells me is everyone's very excited about this game and they wanted more and I understand that too. I just find it funny that normally when this happens with a game, it's people being upset about a game looking bad. And no, I don't think anyone was in the comments going, this game looks bad or I'm not excited about this. They're upset with Ubisoft. They felt misled and it was a lash out. And hey, you know what? That's fine. I get it. I understand. But I'd like to point out the fact that, one, it's not really a reason to get upset for a trailer because you were expecting more. Because you're going to get more very soon. I also would like to point out that it is, in a positive note, it actually, which is weird for me, to be the devil's advocate on the side of the company. Usually I'm all against you, but soft I'd be on your side normally. And not that I'm not with you, um, I'm just against you. And that's fine. <laughs> What I want to say is here is that the positive side of it is it just tells me, like I've said a couple of times, people are excited about this game and that's why they're upset they wanted to see more. It also shows the great vibe of this Montreal team in development of this game because they've come out, seen the negativity, seen the feedback, and they didn't go around blocking people all over Twitter, telling people to shut up and ignoring people and getting developers to comment on people's videos, YouTubers, content creators' videos saying they don't know what they're talking about because that's what Quebec did. With Odyssey, that's what Qu Quebec did. Their writers, their developers blocked everyone on Twitter. They commented on someone like Fishy's channel and said he doesn't know what he's talking about. That's what they did. Here, the boss, the head of the game, the creative director, Ashraf Fishmo, came out and apologized, took responsibility, even though he was not the one spreading this misinformation. He was the one trying to manage everyone's expectations of what to expect here. But what he did was come out and show integrity, show class, and all this is going to blow over. By the time the next gameplay trailer comes out, by the time a story trailer comes out, by the time an actual gameplay demo comes out, this is all going to be over. People are going to see what the game is and are able to have a positive or negative reaction based on what the game is, not on what their expectations for a trailer were. I think people also expected more from the event as a whole from Xbox, which is weird because probably shouldn't, but that's come into it as well because maybe the big thing you're like, well, the main event will be Assassin's Creed Valhalla. There'll, there'll be something big here. And it wasn't as big as you wanted. But... Honestly, there was a lot of meat in this trailer. We got to see some story elements. We got to see a lot of the gameplay animations and how it's going to look when we play in game, the textures, the environments, the locations we're going to get to visit. And that looked quite amazing to me. I loved having a look at the scenery of England and Norway as well. The architecture, the different factions, gameplay of a siege happening and the war machines that are going to be involved in that. How Eivor looks when he's in combat, when he's running, he did a bloody flying knee on one of the Saxon men in this trailer. You get to see very close-up animations and cinematics of the gameplay, because it is gameplay, it's in-game, it is gameplay, you're just seeing a cinematic view of it. You're not going to see third-person HUD unless it's a demo, it's just not going to happen. It's never happened in Assassin's Creed before unless it's a demo. But just for my end, just for my two cents. I quite enjoyed the trailer for what it was. You can see some great breakdowns. If you go over to James and Ethan's channels, I'll leave their two videos in the description because they give a great breakdown of the trailer. James has some great theories on what he wants to see from the game and Ethan gives some great background to some of the symbolism and history behind some of these things going on. And I'm very much looking forward to diving deep into research I plan on doing about six Assassin's Creed The Truth episodes, a six-part series, before this game comes out discussing the real-life history of the Vikings and Anglo-Saxons and this war during the where this time was set. I want to look at the... I want to learn myself. I want to look at the culture of the Vikings and the Anglo-Saxons. I want to talk about the history and the figures involved, the different regions that were involved. There was a lot of religion involved in the war between the Saxons and the Vikings, between paganism and Christianity. There's so much history to dive into, and I've already started my research, so I'm excited to bring that to you. At first, it was going to be a three-part series, and then I'm like, no, I'll do like six parts to this, because I don't just want to talk about Vikings. There's so much history with the Anglo-Saxons, too. So this trailer got to show that sort of symbolism by showing Christian sides of things you see across in the trailer. It showed a pagan church. It showed the different cultures going on. We saw uh, Saxon men and the Wessex uh, flag 
in this who uh, Alfred is the king of during the period of this game. I'm not sure how long the game tracks for, right? But we know that uh, King Alfred's in it. So there's a lot of history behind this game and I'm excited to learn it myself, get into the research and then bring you videos for it. I like the trailer. The game looks beautiful. It looks like a step up from Assassin's Creed Origins, which is, they're both a step up from Odyssey. Uh, but again, I liked it. And that's just me. I also knew what trailer was coming and I had a good idea of the length of this trailer as well. So I, my expectations managed, but I totally don't begrudge anyone for feeling negatively towards Xbox or even Ubisoft because they expected more. But I'm telling you, these developers are working hard. They're handling the community well. They took it on the chin. They've acknowledged the problem and they're going to show you more very soon. I have no doubt about that. But let's not make bullshit up about what gameplay is because that's fucking gameplay. It's in the game. You're seeing gameplay. You're not just seeing cutscenes. You are seeing animations of what's going to happen when you're playing the game. You are seeing what it looked like for Eivor to run, to fight, what NPCs are going to be doing, what the environment's going to look like, how things are going to interact and react to things in the game. That's gameplay. It's just what it is. We can get mad at a company all we want because they promise more and that's fine it's not fine to pretend you don't know what a gameplay trailer is because i'd like to see everyone go back and dislike every gameplay trailer from every every other game that's come out that is exactly the fucking same as this and that's the reality anyway i'm sure you'll hate me for siding with ubisoft even though i'm not i'm somewhere in between because i feel like many of you are overreacting many of you are not many of you get it but here we are anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this video I'll see you very soon for more. If you haven't checked out my in-depth discussion on the latest As Always podcast with James, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. The next As Always podcast will be the four pillars. Myself, James, Ethan, George, that's Long-Eared Fox, Lasers, Fishy. We're all going to be discussing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the gameplay, the history, the story, things moving forward, the way the community is being handled, everything in a matter of a week or so. A week and a half from now. So that's very exciting. Look forward to that. I'm going to be beginning and continuing my development of Assassin's Creed The Truth episodes focusing on Valhalla and try to do them before the game comes out, not afterwards. So you can get hyped up and have some understanding of the history before you even play the game and some of the figures involved without trying to... I won't really go into this, the spoilers of things, I hope not. Anyway, I'm rambling on too much. You guys don't care. You guys want to move on. Thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, support me on Patreon, and I'll see you next time. Shout out to our Patreon producers as well, of course. Thank you. Goodbye.